Thank you. Councillor Cordover, did you have a question? A question. Thank you, Mayor. And my question is about Devonport versus uh, here. So I'll, I'll just give some context. Uh, the, the aquatic centre, which only cost $10 million in Devonport, has an eight-lane, 25-metre indoor pool heated to 28.5 degrees, warm water therapy pool heated to 34 degrees, indoor learn to swim heated to 32 degrees, shallow splash deck with water features. It's even got a giant inflatable feature on weekends, which sounds amazing. <laughs> Are you volunteering for that role? <laughs> a, dis <laughs> a disabled changing <laughs> facility and ramp access, so it's universal access, and it's got outdoors an Olympic 50 metre heated pool, learn to swim heated pool, and a water slide. My question is all of that was $10 million and it was this co pro with federal and state. Trying to tease out from our report, why is our report so significantly more expensive when we have this tried and tested model already in Devonport? Mr Smee, do you want to tackle that one? Yeah, thank you, Mayor. If you look at the figures in the report, the actual build for this facility is $28 million. That's That's what the um, quantity surveyors have said is the cost of the build. Then there's a contingency in there, which, you know, which every good project builds in a contingency, and then there's fit out, etc. So, you know, $40 million may well be an upper figure, but it's it's a figure that the consultant believes we should be looking at um, and, and not wanting to undercook the figures. I'm really mindful that the costs of any building work, even in the past 12 months, have gone up dramatically. Um, all of our building projects at the moment a, we struggle to find a builder, and B, when we do, um, you only have to look at some of our capital projects to know that you know some of them, what we costed 12 months ago, have had a 50%, 100% in some cases increase in the cost of building. So it is, it is partly reflected of that. I'm not sure what year Devonport was constructed, but I'd suggest that that the current building environment has significantly added to the costs of what it did when Devonport was done. Thank you. And just a follow-up question. It was 2012, I think, was when it was. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but a follow-up question is about... Because we, we... In terms of communications with the community, we definitely don't want to be seen, in my opinion, to be kicking this can down the road, as we heard from the Acting General Manager, that we, we, we don't want to put this thing on the shelf. We actually I think you just stole that line from the Premier. <laughs> right. <laughs> but we, we want to progress it and I'm just wondering, is it, are the three clauses in this recommendation sufficient for that media release to show that the council, the feeling of the council is that we actually want an aquatic centre? Does, is that sufficient or does it need an amendment to say that council wants this and is committing in principally to developing an aquatic centre? I can assure you that um, it would certainly be my intention to make it known that we are um, would want this for our municipality, but as we acknowledge there, it's unaffordable um, for us to go it alone. And it comes to the heart of what we've heard already about where all the aquatic centres are and where all the big pools are, and they're all north of the magic line of the um, electorates that are marginal let's let's well the majority of them are um let's be brutally honest about that and that says something about the lack of traction i think that we have during federal elections because we're we have a a, a safe seat in the south um so certainly we would be i would be wanting to um lobby our federal member for franklin um julie collins um, and anyone else who will, you know, our senators and anyone else who will um, listen to us and put the message very clearly that our community, um, you know, want this, but we need a model that could work for us as a, as a municipality and as a council without putting, as others have said, without putting our finances at risk and ending up then with something that is unaffordable in the long term and plunges us back into... <laughs> a situation that we don't want to be in financially.